think the key thing and the key lesson for us in the industry is to believe in what we're doing and to persevere. Go with the data, make choices, realize that most things don't work. Most drugs don't work. And so you have to be patient, you have to be willing to accept that's the case and keep moving forward with the things that look like they have the best shot of becoming a drug. The accomplishment of taking a company all the way through clinical trials, the FDA, and into the market. Uh, there just aren't that many CEOs that have done it. He's done it, uh, he's done it successfully, uh, and he's done it with a lot of class. Hollings came up with the idea of a risk-sharing kind of relationship where Onyx and Bayer would each have a role in funding the development and then sharing the economics down the road. It was a visionary thing to do, something that had not been done before by really any biotech companies that I know, and of course it turned out wonderfully. Onyx really served as something of an inspiration to a lot of other companies, both in the way that Hollings crafted the relationship with Bayer and the model of, of, of a highly creative, highly synergistic relationship between Big Pharma and a small biotech company. Well, Onyx is one example of a, of a standalone company that actually made it. <laughs> uh, so it's, um, uh, it's a sort of role model for other companies that um, can start from an idea and go all the way through to develop a billion dollar drug. So in that respect, it's a huge sort of positive role model for other companies. I think the biggest achievement for Hollings, again, centers on who he is, his commitment, his resilience. He showed everyone that when you are committed, when you care, when you do everything you can to make a difference, it actually can work and it can impact tens of thousands of lives. In kidney cancer and in liver cancer, there really have not, had not been any drugs that worked for those two sets of patients. Uh, and importantly now, Nexavar gives these patients hope and chances to extend their lives. We all say that we're here to serve patients, to identify new cures, to create breakthroughs, but rarely do we really live it. And that focus, the mission, the vision for changing the way cancer is treated, with the patient at the heart of it, I actually think started with Hollings. Well, Onyx is one of the great success stories uh, amongst biotech, and uh, Hollings is appropriately and widely recognized for his leadership in the biotech community here in the Bay Area. During uh, one period of time, I was chairman of what we call the Emerging Company section of the Bio Board, where Holling served, and, and uh, he indeed was a passionate advocate uh, for small companies and uh, brought uh, good focus on the issues that small emerging companies face that uh, their larger counterparts uh, do not to the same extent. Hollings has been a champion of the little guy, a champion of the emerging companies, a champion of the small and mid-cap biotechs, and in that I think has emerged as uh, a real thought leader. Uh, from those early days before I joined Cetus all the way through the days at Onyx is really understanding that it's the best science uh, that you really need to foster and you need to uh, invest in. I think that's critically important, and I think this industry really the best chance of ongoing success is innovation.